Welcome back to breakfast. It is time to clean your coffee machine. Well, not right now. I want you to sit here and, and watch me continue this. And then after that, I want you to clean your coffee machine. Because we love our coffee in this country. We love it so much that 1.6 billion cups of coffee are sold per year. 280,000 espresso machines are sold. There's the pod machines like the one sitting next to me. It is just an obsession in this country, and I know all about it because I love my coffee. And somebody else who knows all about it is third generation coffee guru, Dean Merlo, who's a coffee roaster, business owner, joins me now. Good morning, Dean. Good morning, Andrew. How are you? Good, mate. Very good because I've, uh, I've got a coffee on the way, so I'm going to be even better very shortly. I see you've got a couple of coffees there, but can you give me some idea of why we love our coffee so much in this country? Well, you know, I think predominantly Australians are made up of a lot of immigrants, a lot of Italians, a lot of Greeks, and they brought with them the, the good stuff. They enjoy a great coffee, and I think that, that has become almost infectious throughout Australia, and I think now we're all getting caught up in the whole coffee craze. Yeah, and one of those important things is obviously cleaning your coffee machine, and earlier on in the week was, was annual Clean Your Coffee Machine Day. Um, why is it so important to make sure we've got a clean coffee machine? That's a very good question, mate. Well, see, here at Merlot Coffee, we source the very best beans from around the world. We slow roast them every day we roast to make sure the coffee's great. And so it makes us devastated when we see those beautiful coffee being put into an espresso machine that hasn't been cleaned in months or even years, or perhaps even, God help us, never. And it really taints the flavour of the coffee and wrecks it. Well, I'm starting to feel guilty now, Dean. Um, what are the, the signs that we need to clean our coffee machine? Well, you see, what happens, basically, coffee uh, produces an oil. And if you leave oils build up and build up, of course, oils go rancid. Yeah. So anything you put through that machine, Andrew, is going to be tainted by that horrible taste. And that's going to affect the quality of your coffee. Yeah. yeah. And we you just... know, on top of that... I'm... I was saying, we just showed Sorry, everybody just a, a couple of those things there, but it starts to taste burn, it tastes a bit long, it takes a bit longer to brew. Um, all those classic features that we just put down to... <laughs> character of the coffee, but that's actually a bad sign. No, that's a bad sign. See, what happens is it's got a little ticker, like all of us, and you've got to look after that, as you'd know. Okay. And basically what happens is a lot of the water in Australia has a lot of calcium in it. Now, that calcium um, reacts with the aluminium boilers yep. and creates a scale. Now, that scale uh, pretty much gets through all of the insides of the machines and you'll see the reduction in pressure, reduction in steam pressure, so you're not going to get that true performance. Can, you know? can, can I get you pretty to get started? like your arteries too. Yeah, and, and that's a bad thing, you don't want to clog up your arteries, but I, I, can we get you started there, Dean, because we're, we're going to show everybody right now you, you how to clean a coffee machine, because I've got absolutely no idea. I've got a machine sitting next to me sure. that's got no chance of being clean, but can you show us how, how we should be doing it? Yeah, great idea. Like, it's very simple, honestly. You know, we find it we find it best to basically, before you make a coffee, just run some water through the head. You know, make sure the head's all nice and wet. Then, you know, you put the coffee in. Yep. Make the coffee. But when it comes time to clean it, after you've made the coffee, do the same thing. Just give it a bit of a rinse. You know, it's a lovely thing to do. You're rinsing it beautiful. Now, after yep. a while... What happens is the scale builds up because the calcium just reacts to the water. You can buy these beautiful, this is a descaler. Now you can get these a uh, multitude of places, but you can also get it online at uh, www.merlo.com.au. Yep, it's a pretty it's gratuitous plug, but I liked plug, it. It was, it was perfect. <laughs> and, and basically that, that will cost you about 14 or $15, that's all, and you only need sort of a cap full at a time. Now we'd, we'd yep. pour that cap full put it into the water at the base of your machine and then basically you just run the water through the through the machine. That is perfect, Dean. We're, we're unfortunately out, out of time and unfortunately you're in a different state so I can't get to taste one of your coffees but we do appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. No worries, Andrew. And just a thanks out there to all of those Australians who voted Merlot Coffee Australia's favourite coffee. Appreciate it. Clearly they know what they're talking about, Dean. Appreciate your time this morning. <laughs> we're getting to a break. When we come back... Henry Hot.